man looks inside a mysterious envelope slipped in by a stranger and runs out of the bank before it's too late. Robert Edwards was happier than he usually used to be. It was one proud day that as a father he had been waiting for so long. It was his son's graduation day, and he has all the right in the world to be excited. However, the reason why we selected this story in particular is not because his son was getting graduated. Something even more significant took place that day which made thousands of people realize that there are still some good people in the world who try hard to make it a better place. When a stranger slips an envelope on the counter, Robert takes a look at it and runs out of the door. What was inside the envelope that made him take this step? It happened when he was waiting in the bank line for quite a long while. And when finally it was his turn, he noticed a strange woman walked past the people standing behind him and stood right next to him. She was a stranger to him, and yet she had something to give him. It was a note. She slipped this note on the counter and walked out the door. And when Robert surprisingly opened the note, he ran outside of the main door immediately. Family man Rob Edwards was overjoyed with how fantastic that week had been going so far. The weather was amazingly soothing, neither too warm and too humid. The days were nice and he took off from work and decided to stay back at home with everyone else that week. The family had the upcoming weekend planned too. They were planning to go for a picnic on the nearby beach. Rob and his wife recently had completed 21 years together and everything in life was as perfect as the weather. Over the years, they faced all the ups and downs together. The couple had wise kids who understood the importance of quality family time. Everything about this week was so overwhelming, but all it takes is just a single moment to change the course of things. The Edwards family had one more reason to celebrate, which was Cole, the eldest kid in the family, recently completed his high school with good scores. His son was about to turn 18, and not to say this was going to be the beginning of his college life. There were mixed feelings in the family, a little emotional and a little proud, also a little nervous. So far, he had proved to be a good father and was able to give his kids good upbringing. However, something unusual would be taking place before he could attend his son's graduation. His son's graduation was finally here, and as Cole needed to reach school early that day, Rob too woke up early that day to drop his boy to the school and to finish some routine work before attending the ceremony. As Cole seemed a bit nervous, Rob was planning to motivate his son on the way to school on his big day. After the pep talk with Cole, Rob dropped him in front of the school and drove to a nearby bank branch. It was the first work on his list. Rob thought to himself that this was one good day because he found a parking place for his car without even looking for it. But the work at the bank won't be as easy as finding a parking place. There was a long queue at the bank, but that wasn't going to make any difference. These little obstacles will not make any change in his high, energetic mood. Such days are rare in most of our lives these days, and when one such day was finally here, Rob was not going to allow any bank queue to lower his high spirits. While walking through the stairs, Rob noticed a woman who seemed to be in a hurry. Rob, like a gentleman, opened the door for her and waited. At times, how extremely happy can these small gestures make one feel, right? The lady said thank you as she walked inside the bank, and Rob replied with a smile and welcome. As the woman noticed that Rob was heading towards the same queue, she honestly stood behind him. Rob, on the other hand, once again showed another kind gesture of offering the stranger lady his place in the queue. Now, she was surprised by his overwhelming behavior and Rob understood it. Her expression said it for her that she wanted to know the reason behind his generosity. By all means, go in front of me. Today, my son graduates, recalled Rob. He went on explaining the reason for his awesome mood by saying, I'm slowing down and want to savor every minute. Everything immediately started to make sense as the woman too was a parent and could relate to Rob's excitement. Rob was speaking in a high tone, which meant everyone standing behind could hear him clearly. But it didn't sound odd as the place was quite noisy and one has to speak a bit loudly to be audible. Little did Rob know that someone was listening to him attentively 
and was about to act upon what this stranger just heard. The lady understood what he was talking about and they started to laugh. As the line was long, the two started to talk and shared bits and pieces of information about their families. Rob, as always, had this proud voice while talking about his son, Cole, and daughter, Taylor. The woman's kids were younger than Rob's kids, and seeing how excited he was made the woman realize that soon one day, even she will feel exactly the same way. Time passes away quickly when we get indulged into a nice conversation, and the same thing happened there as well. 15 to 20 minutes looked like a couple of minutes, and the line moved ahead. Now it's the woman's turn to get the work done for which she came to the bank in the first place. She thanked the lady behind the counter as she completed her transaction and walked away. Rob was next in the queue. As the woman passed by Rob, she bid him goodbye and he smiled back at her. Their small conversation came to an end and Rob passed on his documents to the lady behind the counter who greeted him. It was at this moment that a stranger was about to act weird. As it was Rob's turn, he completed the transaction and was waiting for the final receipt from the bank's representative. He noticed a woman who passed all the people standing behind Rob in the queue and stood behind him. Although she didn't say anything at all, she slipped a note on the counter and said that this is for him. Rob noticed this envelope slipped on the counter under his elbow. Before he could turn back, the woman murmured him and walked away. Rob didn't get what she said and became suspicious of this blank note that this stranger just slipped on the counter. What possibly could be the reason behind this action? Rob was shocked and couldn't understand what happened and why. When he turned around, even the rest of the people standing behind him were looking at him. After all, he was making all of them wait in the queue. Everyone was puzzled about what just took place as Rob picked up the envelope and looked for some clues about what was inside it. Rob looked on both sides of the envelope and there was nothing written on it. Such a strange incident never took place before and he didn't know how to react to it. As he opened the envelope, he felt that it could be something suspicious or a trap, but why would anyone try to do anything bad to him? There was money inside the envelope, but why would she give him money? What was her motive behind it? It wasn't like he was in desperate need of money and asked for it all around. Then why would anyone give him money? The question was how will Rob find out the reason behind this money because the woman already left the bank. He immediately picked up his documents and grabbed the receipt from the bank representative. Rob ran out of the exit door and started to look for this woman. There were enormous questions inside his brain and this mysterious woman was the only one who could answer those questions. He couldn't see her anywhere near the bank. Did that mean she was gone? He couldn't see her anywhere in the crowd, but then he thought of checking in the parking area and there she was, getting inside her car in a hurry. Rob ran towards the lady who was already pulling her car from the parking lot. Luckily, she saw Rob running toward her and she stopped. Rob had questions and she understood his suspicion too. Rob took a long break before speaking anything to the woman who was inside her car, watching him with astonishment. Finally, Rob said, I can't take this, and gave her the envelope back through the open window. The woman said that she too couldn't take back the money, and before Rob could ask her the reason behind it, she got out of the car. It was $50 inside that envelope, and she didn't want to take it back. When you talk about your boy, you glow. You're a blessing to him. I want to bless him too, explained the woman who has been noticing him while he was talking about Cole to the other lady standing in the queue. She was impressed to see his fatherly love and Rob stood there speechless to know the reason behind slipping this envelope on the counter. That evening, while Cole was happy to finally graduate, his father was overwhelmed with how his day turned out to be. He didn't tell Cole about what happened yet, but when he did tell his son, it was a proud moment for them to know that there are still people who think so much for others. Rob wanted to tell more and more people about how nice this woman was with him and Cole. So he decided to share the story of that amazing moment on Facebook. He just wanted to tell people, but what he never guessed was that this post would go viral. One commenter mentioned, First of all, kid, I can't believe your boy is 18. Second, I've been thinking a lot about the transformational power of love and kindness. Our life is as a vapor. It is here and then it's gone. Thanks for sharing your blessings. His post was inspiring people around the world. The whole point of life right here and could not have happened to a more deserving person. Great story, Rob Edwards. 
and so well told as per usual. When you write a book, look me up. I reckon I got a few titles for you already, another friend mentioned on the post. I was so touched, I don't even know her name. I've never, ever seen her before. But I will never forget her love. I asked to take a picture with her and hugged her neck. We need more of this in the world today, Rob wrote. Not the money, but kindness. I hugged a complete stranger today. My son, who I love with all my heart, was shown love. According to Rob, such kindness should be rewarded. Rob has admired the woman's action and said, Many of you who know me know what I believe in. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? It warms the father's heart to love the son. I am blessed. Cole Edwards, I'm so proud of you. To my bank customer friend, thank you. This tradition has recently become quite famous among Americans. YouTube is filled with videos that show how can we help each other in daily lives. National Random Acts of Kindness Day is the day that raises more awareness about the incredible idea. But Rob's story is an example that people don't need to wait for a specific day to do something great.